creativity is an addiction. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity. Totally uncut because we all make mistakes. So let's turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. I write in a forest. I go into this collection of trees to do nothing but listen. It started at the Billy Graham Library in 2015 right here in Charlotte, North Carolina and has evolved into a lifelong commitment and journey. Something is always moving through each and every one of us. It's your calling. These aren't my words. These are the lyrics from Billy's Forest. Chapter number 350, January 7th, 2023. The journey. The challenges. The ability to push through. Sometime during the summer months of 2016, we were invited to replant the outdoor life at Community Charter School near Uptown Charlotte. We were invited to put them in our own open spaces. I befriended several elephant ears, which grow beautifully in my neighbor's green area. Ours have struggled, mainly because of the umbrella of trees that I have in this forest. So I moved them to a flower pot and let them grab some sunshine on the deck overlooking the forest floor. As winter approached, I didn't want them to bend with the chilled wind, so we invited them inside. Twice the plant has been brutalized by my dog escaping her kennel. Then yesterday, I saw something green in the same planter. I rushed to give it more dirt and to water its roots. The journey of this one plant is so amazingly inspiring. Protecting it from all other living things has proved to be a giant task. With great love, I patiently wait for yet another resurrection, to be present with its story, then share it. The things that we watch grow, die off, grow again, die again, transformation, it's always around us. Now, I've been with a lot of professionals when it comes to having plants such as elephant ears, and I have asked many, many, many times, am I stealing from Mother Nature when this plant is supposed to go away in the fall months and then grow stronger the next spring? And every one of those professionals have said to me, no, it's a good thing that you take them indoors. And the reason why is because they are not natural to the state that I presently live in, which is North Carolina. So bringing them indoors is actually protecting them from what could get them outdoors. But the part of the story that I'm inspired most by is the resurrection, is the way that this plant keeps coming back. No matter how many times Jazzy put her paws and nose into that pot inside our home because she was hiding food, she interrupted the flow of that plant and chopped things off. That plant was always strong enough to come out of the tomb, to have another chance at living and breathing. And today, those beautiful elephant ears have been brought in because our nights have been down into the mid-40s. It's time for them to get acclimated to this growing area, and you should see the plant life. But I ask one simple question, though. We as human beings... Have you found yourself running away to a cave, hiding inside saying, I'm done, I'm done. 9-11, the pandemic, two wars now on this planet. Where can we go? Mass shootings in schools and shopping centers? No, I'm not coming out of the tomb. But we have to. We have to have a personal resurrection to get back to living. It reminds me of the night that I had my heart attack, July 21st, 2009. The doctor made sure that I was awake during the surgery. I watched him inside my heart. And then he said, just one more thing here, and I'm going to get you back to living. Those moments that were given an opportunity to fall witness to a resurrection and or our own personal picking ourselves up and growing forward. Learn to document them. Put them on a page that you can come back to during those moments where you trip, you stumble. You're challenged, you're changing. And when you leave those breadcrumbs for your future self, you realize that you've been there before and I'm going to pick myself up. I am going to have my own personal resurrection. I'm Errol. These are not my words. These are the lyrics from Billy's Forest.